The uh, the other project that I listened to this weekend and honestly surprised me because I wasn't expecting anything from it or just because I'm not too familiar with this person is Navy Blue's Way of Knowing. So Navy Blue, he recently signed a Def Jam. Ways of Knowing is his debut album. And with well, Def Jam, sorry. And, you know, it, the only place I really know of him from is from Earl Sweatshirt because he was on some rap songs and he produced a track for Earl on Sick. He is also associated with people like Mike and Liv. Uh, Mike, both of them actually, Mike and Liv, I feel like I had a negative connotation of them just from the jump because my first experience and exposure to them was during an Earl show where everything was pretty fucking bad. Like just the vocals, the, the sound, just everything about it was not great. Um, but I still went into this album and just clear headed, no expectations. And I think it's pretty fucking good. Um, it's, it's weird. So I went into this album and I thought about it and I listened to it a bunch of times and I have my own idea of the project. And then I went and read a interview that Navy Blue did with Rolling Stone, I believe. And he didn't really touch on anything or like the main topic that I was talking about. Um, so, you know, that's interesting. Um, anyways, this album isn't too long. Uh, most tracks are just about three minutes long and I think that's appropriately like the, the length is appropriate because with this album um he worked with producer Budgie um and there's a bunch of live instrumentation so even though you have tracks where there's only one verse or maybe a verse and a bridge it, it doesn't feel like the song is empty and even even when the songs are only three minutes long, it feels like you listen to a full ass song. And you know, I think that kind of goes to the producer for that, but also Navy Blue for knowing, like, hey, I'm gonna just let this instrumental breathe, and just let it do its thing. Regarding this album, uh, in the Rolling Stone interview, he's he refers to it as like ways of knowing as ways of knowing that I don't know. And I think that kind of plays into a lot of my thoughts on this album. Like, there are things that, as you go through life, as you grow up, I guess, like, there are things you just you just don't know about. And you kind of learn as you experience things and grow older. Navy Blue is only 26 years old, so he's not particularly young. But, I mean, he's still younger than I am. And But he has gone through some things, it sounds like. The the way I took this album is kind of touching on that. Like, it feels like a transitionary period for him. Like, you get to a certain point in life where you, 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 you see things change. You see people pass away. You see, like, you, you kind of try to understand what's going on in life and make sense of it, I guess. And... Honestly, that's that's a lot of what I got from it. The intro track, The Medium, uh, which is part of the song that we listened to on Friday, uh, it feels like he's just reflecting on his life so far and everything that he's experienced like as a child and then you know growing up. Um, there is a line on that song that says, too many days I wore that goddamn muzzle, which you know essentially means that he's just been biting his tongue for forever. And... Or at least when he was younger. And he's been kind of making himself not say these things that he actually wants to say. But that also kind of goes into the chorus, which says, I learned patience that make I learned patience makes sense. Learn patience makes sense. Spend days on the couch, type senseless, my sixth sense went. So it's like while you're just biting your tongue, while you're just not saying anything, you're just you're chilling. You're thinking about everything. You're trying to make sense of everything. Uh, and you learn that maybe there's a time and place to say these things. Like You have to have the patience to be like, okay, I'm not going to just wild out. I'm not going to say some random shit because, you know, people may not 
receive it in the way that you intend to, or you, you may push people further away from you. And for him to think about that when he was younger is interesting and impressive, I feel. Um, another reason that I feel that this album is more of a transitionary project period, whatever for him is because of tracks like the one or to fall in love, uh, life's terms and pillars. Each of these songs are, you know, they kind of touch on an experience or just experiences in general that you go through or well experience throughout your life. The first two songs I mentioned, The One and To Fall In Love, are about falling in love, about love in general, and finding the person that's right for you, which, you know, you you kind of figure out as you grow older, as time goes on. Um, Then we have Life's Terms, which is more of a healing song. Um, In this track, you have have an intro verse from Zero, who, again, I've, I've never heard of, but does a pretty solid job. But on Navy Blues verse, you hear him talking about kind of transforming into a better version of himself. He's taking in all these things that he's done and things that he thinks about in life that, you know, most people can think of as negative um, or like just just random shit you do throughout the day, right? It's like, oh, why am I doing this? It's like, okay, well, maybe this is the reason and maybe this is why I'm doing this and what can I do to change it, sort of. Like, he's, he's he, that's essentially the, <laughs> the entirety of the song. Like, he's processing this negativity that, like, oh, I don't know why I'm doing this into something positive and into some way to heal, which, you know, pretty cool. Um, and definitely, like, it's not, it's not beating you over the head with it either. Like, you can definitely be super preachy with this sort of uh, topic, but I don't think he does that here at all. He makes it very, like, approachable and very, like, natural, I guess. The other track that I mentioned, Pillars, talks about his grandparents and what they mean to him. It's uh, pretty somber, to say the least, but it's also kind of playful. Like, it's it's meant to, I guess, honor his grandmother, he said, and then also honor his grandfather's life. But um, it's also pa- playful to some extent, because the chorus just has him saying, like, like, or talking about his grandma, who just keeps wanting her earrings because she's so vain, and, you know, it, it, it was kind of cute. Um, he also talks about throughout the track that, um, like, how his grandfather raised him, and I thought that was pretty cool, like, having that strong father figure there. Um, another track, and actually the final track of the project, is Shadow's Shield. Shadow's Shield. Um, and it's another highlight because it's it's just a really good way to wrap up the project. It has him essentially embracing every part of him, which is not an easy thing to do at all. Like, there are parts of us that we're ashamed of or afraid of, like things you may have done in your past or things that you think of as just straight up negative. Kind of like on the other track that I was mentioning uh, life's terms, like where he accepts his negativity or processes processes the negativity in his life. Like with this song, he he takes all that and he's like, no, nah, like th- this is me. This is all a part of me. Um, and you know, just makes it makes it real, makes it a part of him. And like, not necessarily saying like, oh, this is just how I am. I got to deal with it. Like kind of accepting that this is what he is, but finding ways to work around it. So, you know, another another thing that I thought was pretty neat. Uh, my favorite tracks on this project are The One, Life's Terms, Kill Switch, Freehold, and Shadow Shield. Overall, though, I really did enjoy this project. It's not something that I can throw on at all times, but it's definitely something that you can listen to kind of in the background. Um, it's good just, like, yeah, just ambient music, I guess. I was going to say coffee shop music, but that's a little bit, it's a little bit too, too much for that. Um, but yeah, let me know what y'all thought in the, in the comments below, because this is a YouTube video. Um, also remember like subscribe and, uh, let me know what else I should listen to.